You know, I already had a video filmed, actually filmed several videos already that I was going to post. And this video was about finding your balance as a spiritual entrepreneur. And I even went so far as to edit it. But then I decided I wasn't going to post it because, you know, I'm not, I'm not really having that experience, at least not yet. And I know that I wanted to start 2024 on a good note. So let me see if I can start this again. My name is Banatia from Aware Multimedia, and I create digital marketing content for spiritual entrepreneurs. Hi, you made it. Today is January 2nd, 2024, second day in the new calendar year. And I was going to post my video that I filmed over the weekend and uh, talk about finding balance for spiritual entrepreneurs. And I wrote a wonderful article about that. You can check the link in the description box. It will give you more details as to what it is that you can do in terms of finding balance. However, I couldn't really post the video that um, I had filmed because it wasn't sitting well within my spirit. I always want to put my best foot forward and I always want to put my best face forward. I mean, who doesn't? Who doesn't want to make a good impression, right? And it's not to say that it's not a good idea to find your balance or to find a balance between work and play and family and all the other things that require your attention. As a spiritual entrepreneur, it's a little bit more challenging, I believe, trying to find the balance between what you hold to be core values for yourself versus what the world or the system in general has stated that you ought to be doing. The truth of the matter is that whatever is important to you you is the thing that you ought to be focusing on. I understand that we need money to live. Money makes the world go round. Of course it does. You can't do anything without having money. And if anybody tells you any differently, they're lying for every single thing that you have to do. And if you want to do it in a way that is enjoyable, it requires finances to go along with it. One of the things in the article is talking about defining your core values. And I'm going to be looking in my notes because I just want to kind of keep on, on topic. So defining your values. And if you don't already know what those are, and I don't believe you don't. I, I believe everybody knows what is important to them, what they find value in, what makes them feel good, what makes them want to strive for better, what makes what is important to them in terms of living their life the way that they want. For me, it's about family. It's about my finances, my health, my spirituality. All of those things are important to me. I'm pretty sure it's like that for everybody else. You live on this planet, so, you know. Those are things that are important. You know, if you have family, it's always a good thing to have family. And if you have, you know, business that you're trying to get off the ground or you are starting or you are working, all of those things are important to you because they are part of the thing that helps you to live. So what is it about your values that are important to you? And how could you include that in whatever business or whatever venture, whatever job that you're taking on? You know, how do you incorporate that in a way that you can have a good balance? So spirituality and business, it shouldn't be a hindrance. It's not supposed to be a hindrance to what you're trying to do. Spirituality is supposed to be something to help you. It's not supposed to hinder you. And if you find that it's hindering you, then you have to reassess what it is that you're doing and why you're doing what you're doing. Remember, or at least I have to remind myself that it's about the impact that I'm trying to have, not only in my own life, but in other people's lives who may come across this video. I want to talk about self-care. You know, when you watch YouTube videos or anywhere else, Instagram, TikTok, whatever, you know, they talk about, you know, putting creams and, and you know, taking care of yourself and having downtimes and all of that wonderful stuff. And they're all great. And I noticed that a lot of the people who talk about that, they're more than likely people that are by themselves. And, you know, you might have a few that have children, but you know, maybe maybe I haven't come across that in my algorithmic uh, suggestions. It hasn't come up on my, my suggestion box for those who have families and they're having time to do their um, self-care. So with self-care, it's really important. It's not just about your physical form. It's about your mental state, especially now. Things are challenging. There is a shift in the energy and the direction that the whole system and world is going. And it's important that we strive to shift right along with it. It's challenging. I can tell you there's probably a whole segment of people who are really struggling with this, with all the different changes and all the things that's going on. They are really, really having a hard time. And if you aren't a part of the crowd or a part of what's going on, 
you're going to feel left out. You're going to feel left behind. You're going to feel like you can't catch up. And this is something that I want to say to you. When you're feeling all of those things, it's time to just stop and just take a moment for yourself. And even though I'm saying this, I could tell you that it's hard for me to do that because I know when I get overwhelmed with a lot of the different things, not only in what's happening or what I see and the messages that I'm getting and the things that I even say to my own self, I feel like I'm not enough. I feel like I can't catch up. I feel like, you know, it's, it's just not, it's, it's not cutting it. And so I just wanted to touch on that. You must find a place within yourself that is just for you alone, that you can take care of yourself and be kind to yourself and be gentle with yourself and know that you're doing your very best. 2024 is your opportunity to take a deep breath and just step out, step out into being yourself. That's what I'm striving to do. In terms of boundaries between work and spirituality and family and all of that stuff, <laughs> as a solopreneur or a spiritual solopreneur, I can tell you that it's easier for me to say it than to actually do it because I want so badly to finish what I start or to complete something that I'm working on. I don't take my breaks even though I know I should. I stay up late into the night doing all these things. I know that I should stop and I really strive to make it a point. I even set timers for myself to do it and I stop for a moment. Most of the time I follow through but sometimes it's just like I have to get that done. If I don't get it done, you know, I'm gonna stay up all night thinking about it so I might as well just go ahead and do that, right? So I, in 2024, I'm going to focus on making sure that I set boundaries and time for myself and work at actually maintaining that. It's hard to do, but I'm going to definitely strive to do it. Spirituality and business practice. Do unto others how you would like done unto you. That is something that is important to me because I really strive to treat people the way I want to be treated. And sometimes it feels like when you're kind and when you're nice that people think they can take advantage of you or people think that you're a pushover or people think that, you know, that's they can just lord it over you. And if somebody is being kind, it doesn't mean that they're soft or that they're pushover. I think they're just choosing to be that way because trust me, it's not hard to be bad. It's not hard to be mean. It's not hard to be nasty to people. Oh, that's all too easy to do. Nurturing growth and mentoring and building a community is important. Again, these are one of those things that you hear online and, you know, it sounds, oh, that's so good. That's so easy to do. The truth of the matter is it's really challenging to find real, genuine kindred spirit. Literally, everybody's trying to sell you something and I'm included in that too. I'm trying to sell you something and I'm not even going to try to beat around the bush about that. Everyone is selling something. If you're online, you're selling something, okay? You are. And if you're not online, you're offline selling something, whether it's to get in a relationship whether it's to get a job, whether it's to have somebody purchase something from you, you're selling something. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, what does it leave the room for you to connect with people on a genuine level? I guess that's something that I'll have to think about. 2024 is the year that I'm going to do my utmost, my utmost. I looked up that word. It was, it was a really nice word because I was thinking about the word limitless and I'm like, the word limit is already limiting you. And then limitless implies that is beyond limits but the fact that you're using the word limit is already a limit so another word a different word that i could use was utmost so i'm going to do my utmost in 2024 be the person that i desire to be to have the business that i desire to have to have the friends the connections the community that i desire to have and all of those things are possible it's already present and of course you're going to meet challenges Duh, this is this whole world is about challenges. Being alive is challenging. <laughs> oh my God. And to be the best version of yourself, not that the version that you are is bad, it's just that, you know, we all want to improve, right? It takes work, it takes effort. That's what energy is, the vigorous exertion of your power. So therefore, you have to put in some vigorous exertion to live and to move your energy. And that's what I'm going to do. 2024, I'm here. I'm present. It's on. If you want to read the article, it, the link is in the description box below. And if this video helped you in any way, be sure to like it, share it, comment, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Banatia from Aware Multimedia, and I create digital marketing content for spiritual entrepreneurs.